Hi, welcome to HPE Discover here from Las Vegas. I'm Ronald van Loon and I'm here with Dan Mascheck and you're the senior architect for Central Point Energy. Yes, sir. And you have a lot of experience with drones. Yes. Can you explain how drones use machine learning, use data, use AI to operate? Uh, the reason we decided to look at the UAV drone project. And UAV, UAV stands for? Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our core values is safety, and right now we are in a very flood-prone state. Uh, our headquarters is based in Houston, mm -hmm. so you might have heard of Hurricane Harvey. Uh, also, uh, Tropical Storm Allison was a big one. That was the day I got married, so it was an interesting day for us. Uh, so we were looking to come up with interesting, innovative ways to walk the lines after a said incident, and even for ways that uh, we can do for preventive maintenance. Because again, things get old and we need to basically be able to repair them. So one of the initiatives that we had, or innovative ideas, was to use drones. Because those mm -hmm. things are a big boon right now. They're very cost effective now. So what we were looking to use the drones for is for two aspects. For our electrical lines, because that's one of the things that we do at Center Point Energy. And also for gas leak detections, because mm -hmm. we also deliver gas. So one of the aspects that we were using is we're flying the drones over the lines mm -hmm. and they're expecting them and they're expecting to see if there's any uh, foliage, vegetation, if the insulators are down or looking at the, uh, uh, the vegetation and the insulators to see if there's any hairline cracks or anything that's wrong. Uh, we're leveraging uh, LIDAR, uh, infrared, uh, just regular high definition video and we, with that we beam that information down to the HP power uh, power edge system mm -hmm. and that's where our analytics is being done uh, for instance uh, Houston is blanketed in a wireless mesh that we own and that's how we do meter reads and send it over there where well, we're looking to leverage that to not only do the analytics on the server side mm -hmm. and find out okay this insulator is bad or this needs to vegetation is messed up to they'll do the analytics but also cu cut that service ticket to dispatch that lineman to fix the, cut the foliage down, to fix the insulator. So, and we can all send that over the wireless uh, blanket that we have over the Houston metropolitan area. And if you then look from the analytics perspective, what's done at the edge and what's done in the cloud afterwards? Uh, we're not, uh, as far as the cloud, we're not really leveraging the cloud that much. Okay. We're kind of more in the traditional old data center aspect. Okay. We do have a cloud footprint, but mm -hmm. it's more in our environment, we're using it more as a test dev environment. Mm -hmm. Uh, but if we do pursue further in the analytics environment, I do see us going to the cloud just because of the, the scale up, scale down model, it, it's more cost effective that way. So for right now, we're doing the traditional mindset of uh, the uh, AI aspect on print. And what are typical industries where you can apply this, this drone um, approach? That is one of the ways how we're doing it, applying to the drone approach. Uh, again, we are beaming that information down to the server because it's all about trying to keep it. Which, which type of industries you're mainly focusing at? Which are oh, what industry? Yeah. Again, it's going to be the electrical. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, now that we've been in uh, merger acquisition with a mm -hmm. uh, company, we did not generate any power. Now we're back to generating power. We are just a distribution company. So we are make sure we maintain the lines are up. Our, our slogan is that we're always there because we want to make sure that there's enough headaches in the world as there is today. If your power, your electricity is not, we're trying to remove one of those headaches. And we're trying to move from a more of a reactive aspect, transformer blue, insulator went out to more of a reactive aspect. So we can say, okay, this insulator needs to be replaced. This uh, transformer needs to be replaced. We also were one of the few uh, industries that have what they call a smart grid, to where we can reroute electricity automatically so they don't have somebody to have to flip the switches to uh, make sure they have the power. So if there is a power outage, uh, we can minimize it, its foothold as small as possible. And that's where the UAV drones come in because yeah. now that we found out that, okay, let's just say this section right here is out with power. Well, we can fly a drone up, look at that with those three technologies like LiDAR, infrared, and beam that information down to the server and it can run its analytics and it can say, okay, this is what needs to be done. We need to replace this transformer, to cut out a serviceman. And again, with electricity and we are in a flood prone, uh, prone state, kind of hanging around in the water with uh, down lines, not very safe. So just easier just to do it with uh, a Jones. Also, the way they were doing it traditionally, it was a four man operation. Mm -hmm. uh, you had somebody that flew the drone, 
you had somebody that was looking at line of sight, okay, I'm not going to hit anything, and then we had two servicemen or linemen. One of them was looking, saying, okay, I need you to fly closer to the insulator or, or this line, go left, right, and then the other person was basically watching and looking at it and diagnosing it on the spot. So with using, leveraging the uh, edge compute and the information we're getting in the UAV, we can cut that four-man team down to now just two, because now all I need is somebody just to fly that drone, make sure it doesn't hit anything. I can keep that drone up as long as possible now, because I'm don't. i beaming that data right down to the server. Traditionally what it was, a drone would fly, fill up with data, land it, upload the data, then put it back up in the air. Yeah. So what we're trying to do with our AI and the drone project is maintain the uptime on there so we can do return to operations as quickly as possible, because again, we always want to be there. Thanks a lot for sharing experience. Thank you for watching here from HP Discover in Las Vegas. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get notifications of my new video.